Hello guys, in this lesson we will pass to build or how to build the PID controller design. We need to learn it because if only I use the proportional coefficients I cannot reach the every root on the characteristics equation, okay? And so we need to create a new block diagram in here like this one this is the standard block diagram block diagram is <coughs> xref plus minus in here and so we need to build the cs or controller block and so we have also a plant model in here. 1 divided by i x s square plus c x s. And so we have also x variable in here. And so unity gain should be added in here. And so the sensor is ideal or sensor correctly <coughs> measure the whole the position of this x. Okay. Or the any variable which is coming out to the system output. Okay, and so in the first place we should drive the general equation of motion in here or general of equation of the transfer function for a given closed loop transfer function. Okay, and so the xs is equal to the what the es times cs times gs. Okay, and so es is equal to the what x ref minus x <coughs> and so we have this kind of information in here xrs minus xs <coughs> and so if we collect this equation of these things and so we have obtained the general form like this one xs xref s is equal to the what cs times gs divided by minus cs times gs okay this ideal with the kp factor kp in the kp loop cs is only equal to the kp but in the cs or in the pid controller design <coughs> we should assign the cs as a kp term as a proportional factor and so derivative term which is given by the kd times s s is the derivative of the time <coughs> okay because in the laplace domain the derivative is equal to the s and so in the collection term or the integral term which is given by the one divided by s in the laplace domain and so if we choose this cs factor and putting this equation into the this one and so in the third place we have the equation of motion like this one xs divided by x ref s is equal to the what is equal to the this one <coughs> kd times s square plus <coughs> kps plus ki okay <coughs> and so i x times s s over three and so c x plus kd s square plus kps plus ki okay these are general notation and so how can we obtain this equation the only thing is that gs is equal to the one divided by i x times s square plus c x times s <coughs> and so cs is equal to the what kp kd s and ki one divided by s putting into this equation and then we get this notion you can calculate it uh, for the correction of these things but we don't need to use this term in this equation and so <coughs> if we have this kind of information here in the proper form the xs xrs is equal to the what in the general characteristic equation form we should divide by each term 1 divided by i x kd times s square plus kp 
S plus Ki. <coughs> and so the denominator or the characteristic equation is equal to the what? Cx plus Kd divided by Ix times S squared plus Kp divided by Ix times S plus Ki divided by Ix. Okay? These are general characteristic equations. And it's important to note that we can reach the every root of this equation now. Because if we use the Kp, Ki and Kd, each term are included in the different order of the S. Okay? And so we can choose the Kd, Kp, Ki properly and then we get the root to any root on the S plane. Okay? <coughs> we can place the roots on the S plane at every point. Okay? This is the general mathematical notion. And the PID control uh, can utilize this feature in the math to track the reference with no steady state error. Okay? These are general form of the PID equation here. And so there is only one thing in here, like this one. We can only, or we must use the PID controller to reach every root on the S plane or the characteristic equation. You should remember that the, in the proportional factor, the, we can only reach the one term, like this one. We don't control the CAC term or S order in here. And so we cannot reach the every root by using only the PIP controller, proportion controller. But in the PID controller, we can reach the every root by using the selecting KD, KP, KI properly. Okay? And so in the next lesson, we will drive the state space equation for this system. And as well as how can we choose or calculate the candidate CE equation to place the roots for a desired point in the or the on the S plane.